Okay, so now that we're back from the range, let's check this headspace again to see how much this brass has expanded from the fired and the not fired. The 5.56, five, just double check that the primers aren't cratered. They look good. 4.56. And I think we already know what the headspace is on this. 4.53. Okay, so let's check out the 7.62. So on the fired, 7.62, 627. Now the non-fired, which I think we already know what this is. Six two four. This is why you don't guess. So if you're new, you're gonna notice having fire form brass does help even when you full length for size. If you full length for size, does it help greatly? No, but it does help a little bit. Now, if it's for a bolt action, if you do the neck only, having fire form brass makes a huge difference. Now, this is one of my pet loads. I've been using this 23.8 grains of Varget for years, and no matter what AR I put into it, it just performs. Now this on the other hand, my Rock River Arms 7.62 AR, uh, it's a new rifle. I really haven't done any load development, but now that I have the Fireform Brass, I can play around with some other powder drops other than 41.7, maybe play around with the bullet jumps or the seating depths just a little bit. That can make a difference. Well, I gotta tell you, it's been one heck of a journey, and I hope you enjoyed joining me on this journey taking this lake city brass from purchasing it online to actually watching the bullets impact paper now, i gotta admit this has been pretty fun and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please subscribe like and share and this concludes this 10 part series and don't worry there's more videos to come take it easy If I could pick one thing that drives me nuts about how-to reloading videos, it's too much talking and too little walking. Let's get down to brass tacks right away and getting this ammo reloaded for 7.62 and 5.56 Lake City. Brass.